everybody. Thanks for joining me for another One Man Review. This will be a little short one because it's a little short but very beautiful book, The Envoy and the Warrior by Linnea Sturt and Simon Roy. This is very much a self-published. It feels uh, like a electronically, did, electronically, Jesus, I'm old, a digitally printed book. Uh, so that didn't do any favors to Linnea Sturt's beautiful artwork, but nonetheless, it's an, uh, it's an amazing book. This Linnea Sturt is an artist that I, I know a lot of people really value, but I feel like should be bigger because the this kind of uh, European Moebius vibe is is just so peak perfection in here. The only problem is is there's a lot of just weird little things with the production where it looks like this is all drawn in pencil, uh, so that leads to the reproduction being a little bit fuzzier maybe because you can't get the crispness of line. Um, so there, there's some production things in here that I think are holding the art from, from singing as much as it could. There's also some weird kind of unnecessary things like here where the, the balloons cross each other for no, no good reason. You know, I mean, it works. You understand what's going on, but it just looks a little strange. Um, so basically what you have is you have this, this character here who's supposed to be the most feared war god in the galaxy. And this character's here, is coming, asking for some help. Uh, it seems like all the people from the worlds this character has destroyed have been uploaded into this, which is like some kind of virtual Eden. And this character's asking for some help. Like, can you come out of the Eden and help us? And I don't want to give away the ending to the book, but the answer is pretty definitive. Uh, anyways, the, the thing to look at in this book is just the gorgeous art, the gorgeous coloring. It really takes kind of the Moebius vibe and develops it into, um, you know, something new and something different, something with its own outlook. This this combined with the Stages of Rot by Lynn Sturt, which is just a phenomenal book, makes me love this artist. I know there's a couple more things by this artist that I need to get, um, but I would just really like to see this artist get get what they deserve in terms of production. Like the Stages of Rot by Piao was, was really nicely done. So I don't know when this came out. Um, fun little self-published thing, but at some point hopefully a lot of this stuff will be collected maybe I don't know. This is just an artist. I feel like is gonna matter a lot and so uh, it, Moving forward so probably some better collections collecting these smaller things are, are due at some point in the future But anyways, if you can get a copy of it the envoy and the warrior by Sturt and Roy It's a pretty cool pretty quick little book So enjoy that if you enjoy what we're doing here on the channel you two ways to support us uh, one is through our Patreon. We appreciate any of the support we get from there. That just helps us buy the books that we review. And then the best thing you can do to support Living the Line is to support what Sean's doing with Living the Line Publishing. So we'll go ahead and take a look at one of his projects now. Centralia is an awesome, gorgeous uh, comic by rising Dutch star, Neil Van Piet. This is his first work. It's a really great sci-fi story. There's a world in the future where the sun has gotten so hot that people can't be on the ground. Uh, so they have to run around. There's a lot of conceits that go with that. You know, what is the world that that looks like? Um, and I think you can see by the art that Sean's description of this book as like a Moebius for young adults. A YA Moebius is a really great description of this really gorgeous and like wild, wacky, fun book. <sighs> oh, like and subscribe and hit the bell, please. So Carson can finish reading his books and let me go home. <laughs>